Hello everyone. Uh, this is just a recap video for all whatever uh, I had explained so that I give you a complete experience at how do we schedule the meeting and how do we begin the meeting once again. I go on to my Microsoft Teams now because I've already logged in. It's going to take me directly to this place or uh, now once just see the top left uh, corner here. Uh, you see the chats, assignments, teams, calendar, calls and files. So I go to the calendar once again. I need to schedule a meeting for my class, which is at 12 uh, noon. So I uh, today it is 16. So I go to 12 here. I click here and uh, the time comes at 12 noon. Uh, I have to teach the chapter of polynomials. So I give the title polynomials uh, session pre continued. I see the time is from 12 noon, right? But I need it till 1 p.m. So I change the time till 1 p.m. Then I add the channel. Uh, channel, I have to take my class of 10th A. So I go to mathematics 10th A and don't forget to click on general. So this is done and I can send the invite to my students. The invite goes to my students and the class will get it in the post. Uh, let me see how class has received it. I go to the class of 10th A, mathematics 10th A. And you can see the meeting has been scheduled. They have received this uh, notification. Now I go to the more options here on the right. I click here. I view meeting details. And you can see the meeting options come here. This is very important, very, very important for you to set the meeting options because if you will not uh, set these meeting options, your students will be uh, the presenters. They will not only be the attendees, they'll be the presenters and they can uh, trouble you while showing your presentation. They can control your presentation. They can move your slides. If you don't want that, then please uh, ensure that these uh, things are taken care of. Who can bypass lobby? I said if I want to enable the uh, waiting room, if I, I want to enable the lobby, then I will write only me. In that case, only I will be able, to, I will be allowing the students to enter. They cannot start the class on their own. Uh, as and when I will ask them to enter the class, only then will they be able to enter. So they will ask for the admission and once I allow them, only then will they be able to enter. Then I, who can present? This is the most important thing I was talking about, only me. So I click on, on this only me and I can save. I don't want the reactions to be given. So I just close this and I click on save. Now, once this is done, the meeting is done and I can go on to the meeting to join the meeting. Uh, my students will have got the notification to join at 12. So they'll join at 12. In the meantime, let me show you how do we join the meeting. I click on this join here. And if this computer audio is not clicked, I will just click on this and I will join now. Now, once I join here, I click on this join now and I can join the meeting. Now, right now, there is nobody in the meeting. So and I want to just check whether I'll be able to present my work or not. So you see this toolbar here. This is very important. This gives me the participants. Right now, there is nobody. Um, once the students join, I'll start getting that how many students are joining. I can see that. This is if I want to send some message in the chat, maybe some link I want to send in the meeting during the meeting, then I can uh, send this chat. If somebody wants to raise hands, the students have an option to raise hands here. Then uh, the breakout rooms, you will not be needing this. Uh, I more actions. Now you come to more actions. And in case I have forgotten to uh, write the uh, to make the meeting options correct. I have forgotten to make the settings correct. I can still do it here. So I can click on to the meeting options here and I can change the options if I want to change. All right. So um, let's say if I want to change now, not only the people in my organization can enter. Uh, so I can write people in my organization. So only my school students can enter. Not everybody can enter. So I've just changed that. Otherwise, it's not required. You can let the lobby be enabled. And I save this. Now, let me show you how do we uh, share. I close this meeting options. Uh, let me see if there's something more that I need to tell you. I've already told you about the gallery view, uh, full screen. Then apply the background effects. If I want that uh, behind me, whatever the screen is showing, it should be uh, some nice picture so I can uh, use that also. 
uh, now after that what i do is i go to this share content so this is very important share content so i want to show a presentation to my students so i click on this share content so now what do I, what do i want to share i want to share this complete screen i would prefer sharing the complete screen so i click on this screen one and you can see whenever the complete screen is being shared this red line always appears and uh, what I do is I don't want them to see the meeting options or anything. I just minimize this. I again minimize this and I go on to the presentation which I want to show. So uh, ideally this should already be opened uh, in your desktop uh, in the lower bar here. So directly you can uh, open it here. So polynomials content three I'll show. So this is the content I want to show. I had already this is the continuation of the previous exercise. Uh, which I was previous presentation. So I was, I have done it till here, let's say. So supposing I want to start from here. Question number four. Now, what do I do? Always go on to the slideshow mode. All right. Whenever you're showing it to your students, go on to the slideshow mode. This is the slideshow mode. You can get it directly by, shift, uh, by clicking on shift and F5, or else you click on this slideshow, slideshow from the current slide. So I click here and I get my slideshow. So what do I want to take? I am taking up this question. Now, one way is that I show them whatever the answer is directly. The other way is that I want to show it to them that how the answer is coming. So what I'll do is just see here uh, in the lower left corner, you can see these icons. Just if you will move your uh, cursor here, you can see these uh, buttons here. And if I click on this pen sign, okay, if I click here, then the pen opens. Uh, let me start from beginning laser pointer. So then if I want to on dividing this, uh, by the polynomial gx so if i want to read it out i can use this laser pointer then if i want to write something on this so i can write px is given by x cube minus 3x squared plus x plus 2 and i'm dividing it by gx gx is to be found out i'm getting the quotient qx given by x minus 2 and the remainder rx is given by minus 2x plus 4 these are the details I can write this in time and I can show the solution to them. So this is one way of doing it. Now, supposing I want to show them some other question in the during the presentation itself. I don't want this. I have made some mistakes. So I'll just click on this and I'll use the eraser here. So this was not, this is let's say not four. So I erase this and I can again get to the pen and I can write the four more neatly. I can change the colors. I can change the colors here. I can take this to be as a blue color. And I start dividing x cubed minus 3x squared plus x plus 2. It has to divide by gx now. So I'm just taking an example. So this can be done then. Then if I want to use the highlighter, so I click on the highlighter. I select the color of the highlighter. Maybe I'm using the blue color. So I write the division. Uh, I write, let's say, division algorithm. This is something important. So I write it in bold division algorithm. So all this can be written by you in the presentation itself the way we used to annotate in the zoom so here also you have an option of annotation then uh, one very good uh, feature which my friend uh, deepa ma'am told me that if during the presentation i want to open a blackboard i don't want i want to go away from the slide so i just simply click on the full stop button of my um, uh, laptop and i when the moment i click on this full stop during the, the presentation in the slideshow mode the moment i click on full stop I get a blackboard opened here and I can write on this blackboard using the pen. I use a white color and I write on the pen. What is the division algorithm? I write the division algorithm. Remember, this will not be saved by uh, the in the presentation, but yes, you can show it to them. Some rough work you want to do. So a rough page opens up. You want to show about something about polynomials, you want to write. So you can write on polynomials. So this full stop gives me a blackboard. But if I open, if I click anywhere now, if I click anywhere on any button, if I click, then I'll go back to the presentation. If I click the comma, then I will get a whiteboard. A open whiteboard opens up and I can write whatever I want to write. Polynomials, I can write. I can write. I can show up any rough work. Uh, X squared minus 2X plus 3. So whatever I want to write, I can write here. Then I click on any button. Um, then the moment I do that, I get to go back to my presentation. So I don't want this. I want to remove all this. I erase all ink on the slide and it gets cleaned up. So these are the few features which you can use 
or in during your PowerPoint presentations uh, in your Teams. They can be used in any other uh, app also. But yes, uh, the Teams allows us to use them very efficiently, and your presentations go very well in Teams. So this was all. I uh, stop my screen sharing. To do that, I again go back to this window. You can see here. I can close this. If I want to share something else, I can again start sharing. Maybe I can share uh, the presentation once again. I can click it here. I can share the desktop. If I want some video to be shown, so I'll have to include this computer sound. Keep that in mind. Otherwise, the sound will not move. So if I'm showing some video to the students, so just click here, include computer sound. Only then will the sound be audible to the students. So that's all I think uh, you all need to know to have your efficient classes. Remember, as I told you, never leave the meeting always end the meeting so you will end the meeting here and the meeting has ended for you now i'll just go back to the presentation and you can see uh, i'll just go back to my team and i did not i maybe i have forgotten to take the attendance you can see the complete attendance report will be coming here without even my Noting down the attendance if I have forgotten. Otherwise, I had already told you in my, my previous video that how can we download the attendance. Uh, but if I, in case I have forgotten, now the Teams itself is giving us the option. It downloads the, the attendance reports comes here just below. I can click on this and I can download the report. The complete detailed report comes. So I hope Teams will be a good experience for you all. Do let me know in case you have any problem. Thank you so much.